When it comes to ARK, building is a must for survival on PvP servers. So, we proudly present Building Your Suggestions on ARK Survival Evolved. What's going on guys, it's the Outcast, and welcome back to another video. This video, we have never done a video like this before, so we will be picking 5 comments off of our community post, and then we are going to be teaching you guys how to build them. So if we did not pick your comment, I'm very sorry, it just either did not make it, or it may be in the part 2, so if you have any more suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. But anyways, if you guys are new to the series, we basically... Or just picking comments and then building them. Simple as that. You can also pick uh, top five rat holes on a certain map, and we'll do five more rat holes in a video. It's really up to you. So feel free to comment whatever you want. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you're new and hit that subscribe button. And now on to the video. So coming at number five, these are not ranked by the way in any way. We have Ice Cave on the Island. We have gotten 14 comments. <laughs> So just referring to building ice cave on the island so this is not a complete base design but this is how we would lay out the entrance and the inside of the cave a little bit so we went ahead and did a cliff plat right there a little hanging tower kind of thing and then inside right here we have a pretty basic turret wall but it's layered outwards if that makes sense so we're using a little bit different of a design on this one and then you come through here and we layered this thing like crazy and we actually layered the doors, so you have three layers of doors, and you can't just run through it either. You have to actually crouch and then get under the rock part of it like that. And then you come in here, there's a tech jenny, yeah, yeah, you know, all that. And you come back here, and I didn't really decide to put anything here because of the turret limit. So I came back here and just decided to build another little turret wall right here, covering this whole entrance in a triangle kind of form, if that makes sense. And then behind it, I didn't really see the point of putting anything else, really. So we just kind of left it blank and just know this is not a full base design. This is just how we would lay out the cave with our turret placements. And then you come back here and of course due to turret limit again, you can't really place anything over on this whole area until you get down to here. Here is the main entrance down to the bottom of the cave. We went ahead and put a little turret wall. Then we went ahead and put two more little turret walls right here. You know, just to like annoy people once they're in, you know, force them to have to soak it and then want to go through the main entrance. We didn't put anything right here because again it's not a full base one but we went ahead and built a huge platform with cliff plats and all kind of stuff and we used a mixture between foundations and ceiling but anyways let's move on to number four coming at number four this guy asked if we could build a water base and we've actually never done this before so we were like hey let's give this a shot so, as you can see here, the hatch frame layout, don't judge me on that, okay? That's that's arc physics, not mine. If you guys thought hatch frame physics above water were hard, imagine underwater. But anyways, here's the full base design. I, I did a couple, a little bit of research because I was not so familiar with these um, underwater uh, things, like the vacuum compartments. So I did a little research on what they do and kind of figured out how to build with them. And then I went ahead and built this. This is a 4x6 base. And of course, as you guys may know, underwater bases are known pretty well for just hiding loot away from your main base so that these things will not get raided. Here's the thing, you don't really need to protect these that much because they really won't get raided. People don't tend to actually go and um, try to raid these unless you're on official servers. Yeah, you gotta watch out for official. But anyways, I was able to make a very extremely compact base on here. And then above here, the tech transmitter got in the way a little bit, so I was unable to put too much stuff here. But I was able to fit a teleporter, a bunch of sleeping pods, tons of vaults, tons of cryo refrigerators. And then got a bunch of daddy storages. You know, you have your whole little layout. And then I went ahead and put a dino gate on the entrance. Put a good amount of turrets, not enough to really defend if this did get uh, found and attacked. But that is why we put a force field around it. But anyways, let me teach you guys how to do the layering to where we can build this. So as you can see here, I went ahead and did my 4x4 kind of layout. And then you have to place a wall, a ceiling on the side, and then you get your ladder like this. And then as you can see, it actually allows you to place it exactly even with the foundations. And then you have to build one layer out to get that um, like honeycomb kind of feel to it, if that makes sense. And then this makes sure that you cannot 
you're not able to hit the tech foundations that are inside of this from the outside. And then this may look a little weird because some of it's being powered by my other base, so just ignore that. But this is really what it looks like. And then here would be the entrance right here. So you can see, you go inside and block it off. And then it works similar to that. And then you, I went ahead and extended it and made a 4x6 inside of this little 4x4 with the vacuum compartments. But anyways, let's move on to number three. Coming at number three, we have how to build cage towers coming in by PYT Gaming. And it's actually a lot more simple than you think. If you look at this, this may look very confusing. You're like, whoa, it's a lot of pillars, a lot of ceilings. Yes, it is. I may have put this one a little bit too far out, but I'm just trying to show you guys a demonstration on how to do it. Now, if you're looking at this from the ceiling, you're wondering, there's no foundation support. How are you doing this? Well, if you look at the very, very bottom, it's all connected onto one, all leading into the middle, into the center, which all of that is considered foundation support if it is connected to the pillars and the ceilings on the outside, surprisingly. If you fill this whole thing in with the foundations, that also works too, allowing you to completely cover the entire top. No idea why you'd do it. If you want to be extra, uh, add these little uh, double doors. It basically helps it from being cannoned down a lot easier. And if you really want to, you can actually vault drop each of the pillars and it will actually help for a better cage tower. Just know these are really meant to stop Titans from Titan biting your, your uh, turret towers. But anyways, let's move on to number two. Coming at number two, we have a greenhouse with turrets. And basically, I didn't do all three of those and I just also did not put the turrets on it. But I also thought, hey, I haven't really done a full layered greenhouse like design to show you guys how to build it one for a pvp standard of a server hatch rim layout you know just do it like a regular base but i was like hey let's figure something else out so i went ahead with some daddy storages above these refrigerators and cryo refrigerators had some tech troughs right here and then also turned it into an incubating area too at the same time so i went ahead and put some of that there got a whole another line of refrigerators and this is for all the dung beetles to supply the um garden upstairs and then you come back over here, again down the middle, some more daddy storages. And then you have a whole thing, and you have a smithy right there. Then a whole thing of vaults, just because why not? Let's add a little bit of storage to kick things up a little bit. Because I was like, hey, well, we need it for something. You got another smithy, and then you have six indie cookers. So you can craft a ton of different stuff at one time. You're going to need six, trust me. Then you come up here, and you can layer this as much as you want. I just put a ton of uh, large crop plots and had it, on, it like uh, on intervals of one up here. And then above, we have the whole greenhouse thing. And then above that, we actually have a hatch frame layout. This allows for 300% effectiveness on every single one of these, surprisingly. I don't know how it works, but it just does. And then I saw this trick on another video. If you can actually place a tech teleporter on top of this, and it will not affect the greenhouse um, effectiveness like at all, which is very surprising. I'm sure the devs are probably going to patch that since I posted about that, but let's hope with that they do not see it. If you're wondering why I had to use two doors to get in, I put it on the foundations and then layered it with fence foundations around it so that it has two ceiling layers, if that makes sense. But anyways, that is what the top of it looks like. It looks a little bit like a mess, but that's what you're going to have to work with. And then you guys can figure out any kind of turret layout that you want. But let's get on to number one. Coming at number one, this is actually a location that can be found at 12.9 and 67.1 longitude on Genesis. As you can see, this may have been used from one of my videos, maybe, maybe not. But one of you guys suggested to actually build this. So I went ahead and built a base design for one of the lava areas. And as you can see, it looks a little terrifying because not only do you have to deal with turrets, you have to deal with lava that will kill you extremely fast. It does not kill you instantly. So if you are trying to get in and out of here all the time, make sure you have a lot of med brews on you because that is really the only way to, to do this the proper way. Just don't get stuck on the hatch frames like I did right here, but that will not end well for you. But anyways, the turrets and stuff are not affected by this at all. So you can place anything in lava and it will not get destroyed, which I like a lot. Then you come in here and I have it laid out like this to where you're actually swimming right there, unfortunately. It's, but it is very compact. You know, I have some smoothies, your tech gen. It's basically a two by three. I meant no, it's two by ten, actually. <laughs> you got yourself a little vault walls some cryo refrigerators, chem benches, you know, all the good stuff you'd see in one of my base designs. And that is really going to wrap it up for this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to do part two, leave it down in the description down below. 
in the comment section. Sorry, I'm crazy. But let's aim for two, three hundred likes maybe on this video. Actually, now we're going to do another 500 likes because you guys seem to enjoy this so much. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you're new. Hit that subscribe button and leave some feedback. Hope you guys enjoyed it and peace out.